the child who died to save the Blessed Sacrament. Many years ago, in a country far away, there lived people who did not know and love God. These people did not want anyone else to love and serve Him either. They put to death all those who believed in the true God. Churches were closed so that the good people could not go to Mass. Sometimes the priest offered Mass and the people received Holy Communion in houses and sometimes even in caves under the ground. One morning, after a priest had offered the Mass in the home of a friend, he looked around to find someone to carry the Blessed Sacrament to those who were about to die for Christ. Before anyone had time to come up to the altar, a small boy named Tarsisius knelt at the priest's feet and held out his hands to receive the Blessed Sacrament. My boy, you are too young for so dangerous an errand, said the priest as he looked down at the child, kneeling before him. But that is why I should go, father, said the young boy. No one will ever think that a child is carrying the Blessed Sacrament. It will be safe with me. Please do not refuse. Tears stood in the boy's eyes, and his face was like that of an angel. The boy was so brave that the priest could not refuse his wish. He wrapped the Blessed Sacrament in a fine covering and put it into the hands of the child. Now remember, Tarsisius, what a great treasure has been put into your care, said the priest. Keep away from crowded places and keep safe your holy treasure. I will die rather than let anything happen to it, answered the boy. He placed the Blessed Sacrament under his coat and held it next to his heart. Then he started on his errand. As Tarsisius was going along the street, he passed by the house of a fine lady who had no children of her own. When she saw the beautiful child with his hands crossed on his heart, she ran out to him. Stay a minute, dear child, she said. What is your name? Where do your mother and father live? I am Tarsisius, and I, I have no mother or father, said the child, with a bright smile on his face. I have no home, save one, which you might not care to hear about. Oh, that I had a child like you, said the lady. Come into my house and rest. Not now, good lady, not now. I am on an errand, and I cannot stop, said Tarsisius. Well, then be sure to come back tomorrow, said the lady. This is my house. If I'm still alive, I will come, said the young boy. And he looked so beautiful that the lady wondered who he was and where he was going. She watched him for some time as he went on his way. Then she began to follow him. Soon she heard loud cries and angry screams. She stopped and listened. In the meantime, Tarsisius had come into a large field where some boys just out of school were playing. We need one more to make up a game, said this big boy. Here comes Tarsisius. I haven't seen him for a long time. Hey, Tarsisius, come over here. Take part in our game. I cannot play with you now, answered Tarsisius. Excuse me, I'm on an important errand. Oh, ho, ho, but you are going to play, said the big boy, who was angry because Tarsisius refused to play with him. The boy caught Tarsisius and looked at him. Oh, please, let me go, said the child. I will not. What are you carrying so carefully under your shirt next to your heart? Asked the angry boy. I'll bet it's a letter. I'll take care of it for you. Just play with us for an hour. Give it to me. I'll put it where it's safe. The boy tried to pull the Holy Blessed Sacrament from Tarsisius. Never, never will I give it up, cried Tarsisius. I am going to see what you've got, shouted the cruel boy, and he hit Tarsisius. I'm going to find out what this wonderful secret is. Then he pulled and hit Tarsisius until he fell to the ground. The young child didn't seem to mind. He said nothing. He just kept his hands crossed over his heart. 
What's the matter over there? asked someone who was going along the street. Then someone else said, It's a Christian! I'll bet he's carrying the Blessed Sacrament. When the crowd heard this, they all fell upon Tarsisius. They hit him so hard that he could hardly breathe. Still, he held tightly the holy treasure over his heart. The crowd would have killed the child, but suddenly they felt themselves pulled away. A brave soldier knelt beside Tarsisius, who was now almost dead. Are you much hurt? He whispered to the dying boy in his arms. Never mind me, Quadratus, answered the young child with a smile on his face. I am carrying the blessed sacrament. Take care of it. Quadratus carried the boy very carefully. He knew that he was carrying not only a dying child, but the king for whom the child was dying. The brave child rested in the arms of Quadratus, but he still held tightly to the Blessed Sacrament. He would not let go. They had gone only a short way when they met a lady who looked at them in wonder. Then she came closer and looked into the dying boy's face, saying, Is this Tarsisius who I met just a few minutes ago? Who could have done this to him? <laughs> they have tried to kill him because he is a Christian, said the soldier. The lady looked again at the child's face. Tarsisius opened his eyes and smiled at her. Then his head dropped back, and he died. <laughs> The lady never forgot that last look, and she too soon became a Christian. Quadratus carried the boy to the priest, who gently took the Blessed Sacrament from under his coat. After this, Tarsisius was taken to a place where they lay all those who died for Christ. They are called martyrs. <laughs> Saint Tarsisius. Pray for us.